Hello everyone, welcome to TechSapire. Today's video is about learning semantic search in SQL Server using WordNet. Now, before I start, let me explain what is semantic search. Semantic search is where you can search a phrase uh, with more meaning to it. Give an example if you are searching like someone is in tension. So it should be able to understand if someone has mentioned stress instead of tension, we should be able to get that as a result. It's more like using synonyms and noun and adjective and verbs to figure it out, perfect uh, sentence matching approximation to what you are searching for. Uh, there is a semantic search feature in Microsoft SQL Server as well, which I really found very bad in terms of, you can say implementing and uh, using it. Uh, might be, uh, you can say new to it, but I really find it terrible. It was not updated uh, like recently. It is a old database, but if you want to try, you can try this feature. I have used WordNet dictionary. So WordNet is an, you can say dictionary database, which is an open source. So you can download it in different format. I have downloaded that in six my SQL format and then converted that into my SQL server format. I'm using version 3.0. Uh, I think latest is 3.1, which is only associated with, uh, you can say online one, but I have database only till 3.0, but it's enough for working it out. So let's st uh, start the example. So what I've done is I've just created a small table, which is titles from publication database, uh, which has some book titles and the notes related to it. So on these two columns, I will show you how we can use uh, semantic search to find more meaningful, th meaningful things rather than just using like and basic operators or full text search. So I have used full text search into it. So here you, the, you require two databases. One is this WordNet database, which I have converted from the origin uh, MySQL database to SQL Server version. So you can use this and this title table. This is one single table. So uh, what I have done is I have just created uh, one SP which will be searching the text output. And the second, uh, I have created a function which exists in WordNet database. So what this function do is you pass a word and type. Uh, what is type? Let's say you want to find adjective noun associated with, you can change it. So uh, don't get into, you can say, too much of technicality. You can just ask for the script. I can share you these scripts. But let me give an example. So if I just use uh, this function, let's say WordNet dictionaries, and I'm pa passing this tension as a word to look, and I'm passing null at the end. Null, why? Because if I pass N, it will search for the nouns. If I search E, then it will search for adjective, those kind of things. So by default, null means it will find out everything. So let me search this one. So automatically, if I use this function, it gives me other associated things with it. So if it is tension, it can have latent hostility, stress, tautness, tenseness, and tensity. So automatically, it gives me extra words to it. And then what I can do is I can use full text search to search all this text instead of just searching for uh, tension. Now, how it works is we have something called DMV, which is like, uh, you can say, no, not DMV, a function, which is DMFTS parser, where you can pass a phrase and it breaks down into different things. When, what, uh, like, give an example. So, firstly, you are in is a noise word. If you have worked on full text search, you have definitely will be aware of the noise word. Noise word are the one which are not been searched by full text search. These are just excluded because noise like is, are, am, the... So these are noise words. They doesn't help you in completing any sentence in terms of searching. So now in this one, the only one which matters for me is tension. So now what I will do is I will take tension, go to the function which I have created, get all the words, and then I will look for all the words pre present to my, you can say search. So if I now search like this one, if I have passed this, like SP search item, and if I say, I want to search. So it tells me, okay, stress is here as well. And there might be some other tension of stress is here as well. And wherever the stress is there and other associated word with the tension are there, it will help us. Give an example, if I just search for important, um, TNT, sorry. So if I search this, so if I search important, it also search for crucial, important, significant, authoritative, because all these words are related to important. So it's not just searching exact word, but it is helping finding the other words and then using full text feature to get the data. So in full text search feature, what I'm doing is first I get the search words from the phrase. Uh, you can first I exclude the, you can say uh, noise words and only take the exact match and then take the each word go into the you can say function which i'm showing on the above and then creating a you can say a unique pattern about it and then iterating through each word and using full text search onto it so that it can help me to figure it out other uh you can say more accurate 
result in terms of that there is by default in full text search you can use form of now form of is like if you are using let's say uh some word where you want to use its form like give an example if you want to search foot it use feet as well but it's not that accurate so for using uh, to get into more accurate thing you can use you can say word net each can you can say figure it out other thing related to it like food animal food foundation feet because it's also related to it uh, so it can find you a lot of things associated with it and then we can use full text search uh, power and get the data now wordnet uh, by default the tables uh, there are many tables into this one like lex links adjust uh, adjective position other thing for getting into the meaning uh, in the script i have attached the notes so in this each of table is defined what they do but in a brief you can implement a small semantic search by just these sample scripts which i have created i hope this helped you out uh, if you have any question let me know thank you have a good day bye bye